Hi, my name is Richard Igwebu from WorldWithRichard.com. In this video, I'm going to show you how to create a fillable form using Microsoft Word 2010. I'm going to show you how to make a fillable form. I'm, I'm going to show you how to make this form fillable so that when you start filling the forms, it does not distort the shape and the form of the form. As you can see, when I put in my name, this, the line shift to the right. I put my initial and if I put my last name it, the form moves to the right and left so it distorts the shape of the form so I'm going to show you how to actually create a fillable form in Microsoft Word so that you will have to fill in these fields without having to distort the shape and form of the form in the next video I'm going to show you how to insert the date field the marital status, payment mode, the academic section. I'm going to show you how to put a check mark on this fall, spring, and summer. But because of the time of this video, I'm going to concentrate on this first one and show you how to create these fields and make them fillable. So let's get them um, started. First of all, we have to consider the, how the, the shape and form of the form. So we can see we have three columns and three rows one two three three columns and three rows so we're going to make a form that has three columns and three rows we're going to make a table sorry that has three rows and three columns so we click on insert to click the table actually the table should have six six columns and three rows one two three four five six two three okay so so the next thing we're gonna do we're gonna increase the spacing of the table let's make it um one and a half then we're gonna start adding the fields highlight this click and drag drop it here first name drag and drop initial drag and drop the last name drag and drop the address drag and drop the city drag and drop the state drag and drop the zip code so the next thing we are going to do is that we're going to format this table Looking here, we don't need this space so we can match this cell. Highlight it, right click, click on match cells. Okay. Next thing we're gonna do, we can, we can adjust the width of these tables to suit the way you want it. Excuse me. The state and adjust it. The um, in initial you can adjust it you can adjust the address okay now okay so the next thing we're gonna do we are going to I'm gonna get rid of this the borders so I'm gonna highlight the table right click choose table properties choose borders and shading choose none click OK click OK again that has removed the borders of this in this table so before we start formatting the table we are going to install the developers tab developers tab extends the functionality of Microsoft Word by default the developers tab is not activated when you install Microsoft Word so for us to create this table, we need to turn on the Microsoft, we need to turn in the developers tab. And to do that, we click on file, click on options, click on customize ribbon. Then looking at the right pane, we will put a check mark on developers tab. Look at the developers tab here. Click on developer, click OK. That has put the developers tab on the ribbon. So if you click on developers tab, these are the tools you need 
to work on the developers tab but for the for the form we are going to create we're going to use these content controls to create our form so let's go ahead and create the first name content control tab content control so looking at this look at this icon here this is the rich text content control we, number, we will use the rich text content control if we are if we are typing a field that will not contain in one line that will extend to the next line in this particular name field it will not extend to the next line so we're going to we're not going to use the rich text content control we're going to use the plain text content control which is this one so you want to click on that then it says click here to enter text so you can, you can, you can delete it and write and type enter first name the next one is initials click on the content control and we type here enter initial the next one will be last name enter last name The next one will be address and enter address type enter address next one will be the city type enter city Next one will be the state. Click on that. You can say enter the state. Enter state. Next one will be the zip code. Say enter zip code. Now we have finished creating the form. So we want to start filling the form this is it we're in the design mode and if you click on the design mode again it takes us to the normal mode where you will start filling the form so the form has been created but let's start entering the field Another first name you have enter first name Richard initial a e, you can see the form is not moving um, last name where will I G W E G P U address enter address my address is two two seven not do point highway that is the city of Dover state of Delaware and my zip code is one nine nine zero four. So we have finished filling the we have finished filling the form. So what we're gonna do next is that um we can actually put an underline on this and actually underline these fields. So for us to do that, I'm gonna click on this click on underline. Click on the this field on the line click on this one on the line address underline it last name underline it initial underline it underline it so this is how to create the video in the next video, I'm going to show you how to enter the date field, the marital status, and the mode of payment. So, if you like this video, subscribe to my channel, like it, and then um, for more information on updates, check out www.wealthwithrichard.com.
www.ghanaanimation.com for more information on how to 